So today we are going to configure a simple BGP configuration. So this is our router 1 and this is our router R2 and we are going to use 192.168.1.1 for this router and 1.2 for this router and the autonomous system number would be for R1 would be 65001 and for R2 it would be 65002 so I haven't configured it yet let's go ahead and configure it Type enable config t okay uh, we need to enable the interfaces by giving them the IP address and I'm using a slash 30 as the subnet mask so, okay so we go in router 2 interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and its IP address is 1.2 no shut okay now before we do any configuration we have to make sure I basically make sure that at least layer 2 or the 3 works where we, I can ping from this to th that router so ping so 1.1 Okay, it's working. Okay, if I go over here, and okay, it's working over here as well. So I go ahead in global configuration mode and type in a simple router PGP and the and the autonomous system number, which is sixty five. Sorry, sixty five thousand and one. And we have to type in enable and the neighbor's IP address would be 1.2 okay and the remote autonomous system number which would be the R2's autonomous system number which would be 65002 okay that's about it over here we go over here in R2 The quantity the router BGP and its autonomous system number which is 65002 and the neighbor would be the R1 1.1 and remote autonomous system number of the R1 is okay now the neighbor adjacent adjacency has come up let's go ahead and try to ping the router on that side okay here we go here we go over here try to ping the other okay there we go uh bgp configuration is and running and it's all working and we can ping from one system to the other so thanks again guys if uh, i'll put a link in the description where you can download this lab it's a simple easy concept and it's a simple bgp configuration not an advanced one so take care